time starts now. What is going on guys? Welcome to the very first three day survival fishing challenge on my channel. For the next three days, 72 hours, I can only eat what I catch. When this time runs down, I'm going straight to McDonald's and we're gonna <laughs> just Hopefully, the goal of this challenge, the hopefully is that I can make it through all three days. I am going to be on the beach and on the rocks eating only what I can catch slash gather for the next three days, 72 hours. When this timer runs out, hopefully I will still be fit and healthy and uh, won't have scurvy or anything like that. So here's what we got. For the next three days, it's gonna. I'm really excited for it because I get to, to spear fish and fish and crab for the next three days. I have here a spear gun uh, loaned to me by uh, a subscriber, Mike from the channel Awesome Blue. I'll put a link in the description. But uh, he loaned me his spear gun, and I'm gonna try to go out and we're gonna try to spear some fish with it. We have here fishing rods, so we'll be fishing a lot because that is my strong suit. We will also be crabbing. We could catch. Uh, mud crabs, we could catch white crabs, we could be catching Kona crabs, we have all different options, we'll be crabbing a lot as well to mix it up, and we have a net here, maybe I can go around some tide pools and gather up some fish in nets, so whatever I can fish for slash gather during the next three days, that is all I can eat. It is a Wednesday morning, a beautiful Wednesday morning here, hopefully we'll be waking up Saturday morning victorious. Let's go. All right, my friends, first thing we are gonna do is try to catch some minnows in this net in some tide pools down here. Uh, we're not doing a minnow catch cook. We're gonna catch the minnows. We're not that desperate yet. We might become so desperate that we are catching and cooking minnows, but at the moment, we are doing fine. We're only 30 minutes in. So this is easy so far. Anyway, come down here and we're gonna try to catch some minnows in these tide pools and use them as bait. It is low tide right now, so this is the easiest time to catch minnows. We're kind of taking advantage. What do we have here? Ah, we got one here. There we go, we got another one. Look at that, guys. Some little glass minnows. Oh, guys. Check this out. This is called a wrasse. This is gonna be game fish candy right there. Oh man, that is, that's a good one. Whoa, guys, check it. I got two of these little, these are tiny little hawk fish. Baby hawk, oh, they're spiky, yeah. Check it out, it looks like some sort of a little sea bass. That should be amazing bait if they're not too spiky for the game fish. All right, not a bad catch of the day. We have, uh, well, I thought we had five. Wait one second. Did one of the glass, oh, oh look, one of the glass minnows jumped out. There we go, we got five. Oh, wow, these tricky little devil. All right, so we got five good little bait fish there. Now what we're gonna do is uh, take them out on the kayak, drop them over the reef, see if we can get a big game fish. down there is sand and then how it's black right here is coral and so the holes in the sand is where we found we catch a lot thank you we're gonna put one of these little fish on 
I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with the best piece. I'm gonna use that little rass. Actually, you know, I'm gonna start with a silver minnow since that did so well. Guys, you know what? We're gonna start with a silver minnow. I was about to start with a rass, but um, last time a silvery minnow definitely performed well. There we go. We're gonna drop that little guy down over the reef. Oh. oh no, I don't have any bait. Well guys, the last of the silver minnows is gone. That I didn't even feel a bite. Something must have just come over and chomped him. So we are gonna put on this little wrasse right here. Oh, oh, yeah, don't flip out of the boat there. Luckily he did not flip the wrong way. No. Well, maybe we won't. Son of a gun! You bet your ass he's gone. <laughs> Shoot! I was real. I thought we would get something big. <sighs> that is like uku candy. All right, let's try one of these little sea bass looking things. All right, so I have him hooked through the lips like right like that. Let's uh, let's hope that gets it. Dang it! That is oh, that's so stupid. I'm gonna have him swing like a pendulum. Laterally, that's what it was. You got him? You got him? I think so. Is that or a rock? <laughs> oh no, that's a fish. Sweet. What do we got? Ah, the old ringtail wrasse. He swallowed it good, too. Mm. By the way, guys, here's one of the rules of the game. I have to catch, I have to eat only what I catch. So if my dad catches something really good while right here, I cannot partake. Uh -huh. Well, guys, I gotta conclude something here. I don't think these little fish work. I think they're too spiky. They have, uh, they might even be, I don't know, poisonous or something for all I know. Because the reef fish down there do not want anything to do with it. I'll get little tiny bites or you know, get some little hits and then they swim off. And uh, this little guy actually is, I hooked him through the lips. So it's not like through his head or anything. So he's actually still, um, Fine. He doesn't even have any like. Yeah, he, he's. I think he might be too spiky. That's happened once before where we used a really spiky fish and we didn't catch anything on it. So I'm gonna have to go to octopus. All right, guys, we got a nice big flat piece of octopus there. We're actually using the head of the octopus, which is the last piece that we use before we have to go out. We've used up all the tentacles, so we're gonna have to go on octopus hunt either today or tomorrow if we want more bait. Got one. You do have one. Oh, it's decent too. Turn the kayak, man. Turn the kayak. Yeah. <laughs> like All it. right, guys. Got finally got a decent fish. I like when they turn the kayak. Woo! Come on. Please be something good. Oh no! Oh my goodness! All it is is a ringtail wrasse, which are edible. <laughs> mm. Ah, it becomes a consideration now, doesn't it? It does. I think I'd throw them in there just to Yeah, catch. I think I might do that. I don't, uh, these aren't my favorite fish, but, uh, but he's a fish. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, we're gonna throw them in there, guys. We'll see, I'll, hopefully I can call them out with something different, maybe. Well, guys, uh, that didn't go as planned. I thought that for sure, I get more than one fish. At least we have something for uh, lunch here. And uh, we'll cook this guy up, and then I have some I've never done before. We're gonna we're gonna catch. In fact, I'm just gonna show you guys right now. We'll set the fish in here. Let me show you guys. So we look around on the rocks here, and uh, potentially we could actually catch some crabs and different things. But uh, at the moment, I am looking for. In fact, yeah, I've never eaten a black rock crab either. That might be something we'll have to do in the next three days. But uh, I'm looking for a little aha. So check it out. Look at these little things right here. These are good to eat apparently, but I've never done it before. But they have to be an inch and a quarter across in order to keep. That guy is definitely an inch and a quarter. So, you know, let's measure this one too. What I did on my knife, you see that line I made right there? I scraped that line, I measured it with a ruler so uh, at an inch and a quarter so I could measure them and then flip my knife out. Let me make sure this one's legal too. Yep, that one's legal. So we have two legal, whatever these are called. 
there we go. Look at that, it's a, like a little oyster type thing there. I've never eaten these before, but a local told me put these on the grill, put a little hot sauce or seasoning on them, and they are good. Just slide my knife under, ooh, they said you have to do it quick, otherwise they're really hard to get off. That is true, here, let's measure this one. This one's a legal one as well. I'm just gonna slide my knife under fast, get them off there. This is cool, this is like coastal foraging stuff. Whoa, check it out. We got a big one right here. Let me, uh, there we go. get my knife in there. There we go. Yeah, if you do it fast, it's not too hard. Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh. Check it out. Ah, come off the rock. Look at that. Mmm. I'm hungry now. Ooh, look, he's peeing. Wow. Mmm. I don't know, man. We could eat a sea cucumber. These are edible. What do you think? You know what? After that little display there. Oh, look, you can see his little. Yeah, wow. Okay. Interesting. Well, you know what? I'm not that desperate yet. We're only uh, four or five hours into this thing. Maybe on day three, I'll get that desperate. But right now, we'll let the sea cucumber go by. Check, we have two big ones on this rock. Oh, shoot! No. Ah, we'll have to come back to that guy. There we go, got that one off. You have to be quick. You have to be quick. He's armorst. There we go, got him. That's a dozen right there. All right, so we have a little bit of, we'll put these with our fish, and we'll be right in business. And we're gonna cook a fish in a brand new way too. So we got some brand new, uh, whatever those things are. And uh, we got a fish. I'm gonna cook fish on a half shell on the grill. I've never done that before. And what that means is on a half shell, we're not literally cooking it on a shell, but it greatly simplifies the fillet process. All we do is we go down like we're gonna fillet this bad boy normally. We just cut along the, the spine, the back there. Then we're just gonna go down like you would a normal fillet. But then all we do is we just take it like this and we rinse it off and we leave the skin on and we're gonna lay skin side down on the grill and that way the heat comes through and cooks the meat without drying it out. Gotta wash a little bit of blood off there. But that's the method called on the half shell. We just have this beautiful fillet. We'll just put some seasonings right on top of that. And there we go, there's our other half shell. Same kind of deal. Guys, look at this. This was in the fish bag. It's a tiny little puffer fish, or a, a toby, they call them. I, I believe that's what it is. And I think that the wrasse must have coughed that up. That makes me not like those guys even more. That is a cute little fish, a little toby. Or puffer fish, I can't quite tell. Huh, I'm gonna throw them in there. That is crazy what they spit up in the bait bag. All right, let's get this grill going. I think it's a simple start. Yep. So we'll take our fillets and we'll just season them up right now. Very generous with the Ace Videos first cast seasoning, guys. Check it out in the description below. It is a little Cajun inspired seasoning I put together. Helps support my channel and it tastes amazing. I have all kinds of uh, testimonials from subscribers saying it is delicioso. We worked hard on it. We'll move these to the side and uh, we have here our little, oh, we have one little piece of meat that I took off that wrasse as well. We have these little guys here. I think, I'm gonna wait to season them until they're on the grill. You're just supposed to, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna wait for that. This is really cool to have like this little feast <laughs> we took from the ocean. This is fun. I'm having a blast right now. Put that on the grill. And we will put that. And then these little guys here, We'll just set them upright. 
right on there. I guess that's what we do. And the last one we'll put right there. Gotta be careful that they don't fall through the grate. But there we go. We got a little seafood going on. All right, let's check out what we got going on here. Ooh, interesting. The, uh, the fish is kind of like curled up. Huh. You know, this uh, it needs to be cooked just a little bit more. These little guys, I have to imagine, whoa, whoa, juices spilled out of them. These little guys, I have to imagine, are done already. Probably doesn't take a whole lot to cook them. So we're going to remove them. I love it. That's cool. Uh -huh. You did find you some good ones, didn't you? I did. Guys, my dad has joined me. He came down when the food was ready. You, you want to try these? Some of your... Yeah, you want to you wanna hear it? Yeah, we'll bring I'll these over here. Bite. And if you want to try one of uh, my... To try one. Let's see here. I'll do this one right here. You've never had one of these. No, well, you know, I had one raw. Chuck oh, gave yeah, me when, one the when, other day. Yeah, when the local was showing us guys, Chuck the light... In fact, Chuck, if you're watching, thank you for showing us about this. He gave one. You had it raw, though. You didn't have it cooked. That's good a little juice in there. Good juice? Huh. Tastes like, um, tastes like the sea. Tastes like the sea. All right. We're just going to try one raw, and then we'll season the next one. A little... Snot in a rock there. Very salty. Mm -hmm. And just like I took a bite of the ocean. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> that, that is kind of very descriptive. It's like oysterish, clamish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like an oyster or clam. Let's try to put some seasoning. You know, yeah, because Chuck did say he liked to put teriyaki or wasabi or, you know, just yeah. take or a hot sauce. Mm -hmm. You said hot sauce. Oh, we don't have any hot you sauce. You didn't season those at all? No, not at all. Oh that my wasn't. gosh, that, that is, that's They're really chewy. Yeah. We're going to add just a little bit of seasoning. Mm, I would say seasoning makes it a lot better. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. You mind if I... No, I'll season I'm, I'm taking some of your food here, so I kind of feel... No, you're fine. I kind of feel bad. Not really <laughs> Not a whole lot. Oh, look at that one just... I, I tried oh, it slid right out. Okay. Oh, yeah, they slide right out. No. It's not bad. Not that bad is, at all. Yeah. Thank you. Good little source of protein. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Well, let's try some fish here. This guy was on a hotter part of the grill. So this one looks done. This guy right on the very top doesn't look quite done yet. So we will uh, let him sit. We'll take this little strip off there. We'll let that little piece strip uh, sit and try for the first time fish on a half shell. All right, my friends. Fish on a half shell. Now there is something, you know, let's let's take a look at this here. Okay. The skin got nice and crispy on the bottom. We're not going to eat the skin, and I left the scales on there too. We're not going to eat that part. Hmm. Looks like normal fish right there. No. Yeah. It's good. A little grilled flavor to it. Those aren't bad at all. And maybe it's because I'm so hungry, but... You know, it's not a ton of protein or anything, but it's fun. It's just fun seafood. It's like eating a clam or something like that. Cool. Well, about six hours in, and I'm definitely not uh, not starving yet. This is a good lunch. So, guys, as I was walking along here, um. I see there's a tree right there. I don't know what kind of fruit that is, but there's some sort of fruit on that tree. Is that a papaya? Papaya tree, maybe? Anyway, I can see some spots where some have fallen off. There's some green fruit on it right now, but they, you can see some spots where it's fallen off. So I wonder down by the base of it, there might be some fruit. We'll come back for that and check that out. We'll kind of go later on like this little fruit exploration. Look around and See if we can find like fruits or vegetables in all the floor and around here. All right, guys. So I'm uh, on a drive. Just did a little errand, and uh, what I'm going to do is we're driving on this little road here. That there are a ton of palm trees, and I'm going to keep an eye out because I might get a, if I can find a coconut or their banana. A lot of banana trees in Hawaii. We have a lot of flora and, and fauna. A lot of flora that that uh, fruity stuff. Uh, they have mangoes and papayas and bananas and all kinds of fruit that just grows on trees. Coconuts, obviously. And so I'm going to keep an eye out. Oh, there's an ABC store. They have tons of... Oh, wait, I can't buy anything. It's only what I catch. 
So, uh, I'm, anyway, I'm going to keep, in fact, guys, I'm not kidding you. I see a, a tree with coconuts on it. We're going to pull in right here. We're going to check it out. That was fast. Hmm. We have some. We have some up there. Those don't look ready, though. Those look too young. We also have some of this tree, but a whole bunch of them, but same thing. They're, they're very green. Look at this view, though. This is amazing. So cool. Well, guys, I don't think the... Uh... Hold on. Hold on. Every time I'm about to go somewhere, or, or like, think, I think the scene is going to change, I see something. I don't know. These smell really coconutty, but they... They're small. Oh, they're full of sand. Oh, okay. Oh, they have a hole in them. Some of these... Huh. Another hole in them. Dang it. Well... Hmm. Well, we tried. I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep my eye out. I know there are a ton of palm trees. So we're just gonna keep going, keep trying to find some coconuts. And keep, just keep scavenging. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, it feels like there's something in it. Now, that's weird. It looks a little green to me. It might not be ripe. Not this guy. You know what we're going to do? It's worth a shot. I'm going to take both of these home. And we're going to see... Looks like there's something, something started to bore into this one. We're going to take these home and we're going to see if there's anything in them. This makes me feel so much better. But I, I can literally hear the, the water in it. I, I think these are ripe. We might have found a couple of coconuts because I do not want to eat, be eating nothing but fish for the next three days. Oh, look, it's McDonald's. Hello. Hello, McDonald's. I love you. You ready, son? Almost. All right, well, guys back at the place my dad and I are gonna go down and look for octopus and I'm gonna spearfish if I can get into this thing this is real this is large oh my goodness it's like a put on a wetsuit maybe that's the point it's like a mini wetsuit oh good net Oh, not bad though. Ooh. I'm wear more form fitting clothing from now on. Huh. Alright, let's go, Spirit. I am a newbie spear fisherman, and so still just learning. I come upon this a school of fish called akule, as the locals call them, and right away take a about to take a shot, but they kind of disperse. But there were a ton of them out here. I look over and check it out. I see a peacock grouper, so we're not an invasive one. And they say you should always spear those and get rid of them. Uh, you can't eat them though, and so I wasn't about to waste energy on a on an invasive fish that I could not eat. So I focused on the Akule and uh, missed there, narrowly missed, but they did let me get kind of close to them. So I thought, you know, I gotta switch up my strategy. I gotta get just a few feet closer. A local gave me a tip. He said, swim down like where you're eye level with them. And, uh, and a lot of times that you can get closer to them that way. So I swam down eye level here, kind of hiding along the rocks, trying to be a little bit more sneaky about it because the, they were just swimming around everywhere. And so it's just a matter of getting close enough. Dial in on a couple. Just wasn't quite dialed up enough. And so I get on them again, focus in, lead them, and bam, finally get one. Super happy with the shot. By the way, this noise you hear is the fish. They make a weird guttural noise. From my understanding, these don't get that big. So 
decent fish, you know, nothing giant, but you can't expect too much. You can't expect like a five pounder or anything like that. So I go and find my dad, and because uh, he had the fish bag, and he was looking around for lobster, which I thought, mmm, some lobster sounds tasty. I got dinner. Bag's over here. Okay. Good job. <laughs> So we put him in the fish bag, I kill him real quick with a knife, and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to look for some lobster. That would be perfect with my fish. So there's some really good lobster caves in this area, so I dive around and look. Like I said, in the evening, hoping that they're a little bit more active, and sometimes they might come out of the deep holes in the rocks. That's what I was hoping for, and I could actually see one back in here, but it was just too far out of reach. And so I came to this other good looking cave here and there's a turtle. In fact, the turtle always sits right by that cave, but there are lobster up in here too. So I look up under the cave there. You can't really see with the GoPro, but there was a lobster back in there, but he was again out of reach. The turtle's like, what are you doing, man? Um, so I left, I, I looked around for lobster quite a bit, but could not find any and uh, shot a few other fish, but couldn't get any more fish. Wow, what a time. That was tough. Well, at least I got one fish for supper and we have the, the coconut. Well, guys, unfortunately, this little fish here is all we got. We do have the coconut, though, so we're going to go down to the rocks here and let's hope that there's something in this coconut and I can have a, at least a coconut and fish dinner. All right, my friends, the moment of truth. I can hear stuff in there. Hopefully, that means it's good. I've actually cracked open a, a coconut. There's some juice coming out of it, and it smells bad. It's not a good sign. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh no, it's no good. Yeah, I can smell it. It's rotten, or it's old. Shoot. Dang it. Well, my dreams of a coconut and fish dinner are smashed to pieces. Um, well, at least we have the fish. But uh, it's not a big morsel. This is going to be harder than I thought. This was a tough day. I kind of thought this morning that if I caught those little fish, took them out in the kayak, like, I was like, all I need is one five pound papillo or a tr one of those trevally, and uh, that'll feed me for a long time. And I was pretty confident, to tell you the truth. I had no idea that this and, uh, and that grass were the only two fish I would catch all day. Rinse off our fish here. Makes me think of a, we should go find some crabs or something. Hey, you know, we do have, check out one of those things. Oh, don't take my fish. Ocean almost took my fish. Anyway, we have some of these things here. Let me get yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Got it. Anyway, we have uh, one or two of these. We'll get some more of these things here. Well, guys. Here we are. Yeah, I told you I was gonna use butter. I cannot cook fish without butter. This day, though, has turned out to be a lot tougher than I expected. And I can tell you right now, I am one hungry dude. I had a lot of misses with that spear gun. Some of them were just stupid. Like the fish was right there, and I just. I wasn't paying attention enough, and so I got to correct that tomorrow when I go out spear fishing again. So this fish here is uh, looking looking about done. A little morsel there. I'm still having a blast today. It's fun trying all this new stuff. Better say a quick prayer. Pray for help. Hmm. Wow. That's a good fish. It's a very strong flavored fish. 
Very strong flavors on that dude. Hmm. I like it. That's a really good fish, actually. Wow. I wish that was bigger. That's a really good fish. The way we're going to cook these little uh, mollusks here, I'm going to put some butter, and then I'm just going to take them all. Oh, look, they're all kind of stuck together. Take them, and we're just going to put them, bam, right on the frying pan, face down. Look at how they're rising. Like, the meat inside is... Oh, look, it just came right out of its shell. Oh, that's weird. It's like a weird brain thing. That's crazy. This is real survival mentality here, folks. Look at that. It's not much. It's good if you're hungry. It's weird, it sounds like bursting with flavor. Like salty, oystery flavor. I'm, I'm just using the word oyster because that's the only thing I can like compare them to. Check it, my friends. I had forgotten that about the second coconut. I was about to wrap it up for the night. And I was like, hold on a minute. I have a feeling this one is bad too, though, because it was right by the other one. But you never know. We got to at least try it. All right. Back to the stoning board here. This might, hold on, I'm a little hopeful. Guys, look at this, okay? So we have the coconut open there, and we have meat. What's oh, that soft stuff? And it tastes good. Oh man, yes, yes. Manna from heaven. I gotta get a spoon. It's still in that soft mode, but it's sweet at least. Oh, right to here. Watch, look at this. This is a soft one. See how it's not very thick? The meat on it is not very thick at all. Some, some uh, coconuts are like that. I actually learned that in Brazil because they eat a ton of coconuts in Brazil. Mm. Not bad at all it's like a little bit of dessert to end the day well guys day one down we got two more days to go see you guys tomorrow welcome to day number two um not too bad, first 20, almost 24 hours down. 48 hours, 21 minutes left to go. Almost 24 hours down. Feeling pretty good. Um, I am quite hungry at the moment. Um, last night I had a little bit hard time going to sleep because I obviously went to bed hungry, but it wasn't too bad. I've actually done in working out that uh, the intermittent fasting thing. So one day of like going hungry, I'm actually kind of kind of used to that, I've done that before. So one day is no problem. The problem is day two, if, if I, I better have a more successful day of fishing today because if you try to go two days doing this, then you're hurt. I want to get a big fish that I can kind of eat on all day so I'm not going going out a whole bunch of times kind of exhausting myself, using up tons of energy trying to catch a bunch of small fish. So that is the goal this morning, catch a big fish. I'll show you guys what we're going to do. Let's get out there. It is quite an overcast morning this morning. As you can see, in fact, it rained last night. And uh, so we'll see how that affects the fishing. Um, but I'm more interested in getting minnows right now. It is low tide. So we're gonna walk down to my favorite spot here to catch, hopefully catch some different types of small fish. And then use a small fish, to catch a big fish. guys I didn't sh look real closely I should have looked I should have paid attention it's a low tide right now but it's not a low low tide it's just a quasi and the reason why that's important is that when you have bait fish you need a really low tide to where there's like either there's like one escape entrance out of a tide pool well if you see in a situation like this there's an exit there 
an exit there, an exit there, an exit. There's like four just for this area right here. And the waves are splashing over. So if I try to corner some fish, a wave is gonna bail them out. And so the only time you can actually really catch a lot of good fish in a tide pool is when the tide is super low and they're, they're trapped basically. So there's not gonna be any, uh, any net fishing today. So I'm gonna have to rethink my options here and uh, gotta figure out something soon because I'm hungry. I came out on the lanai and it's funny, I, I've never really noticed that tree before, but that right there is a papaya tree, I believe. And I think I see some ripe fruit on it. So at the base of it, there might be some fruit that's fallen. Let's go check it out. I see some ripe ones. Oh, look, there's the uh, remains of one right there. Hmm. We need fresh fallen, fresh fallen papaya. I wonder if I throw a rock or something, get some down. Now nah, I couldn't do that, otherwise they'd be smashed into these vehicles. Here we have one more of those, uh, I believe that's papaya. Wait, 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 oh. Oh shoot, oh that's weird. Guys, okay, so one of them fell, a ripe one. But look at all the slugs on it. Like big old snails and slugs. That's crazy. Well, I'm a little too late for that piece. Let's look around here. Dang it, that's what I was hoping for. Probably about 24 hours too late. You know, if I would have come out here at the start of this challenge, that would have probably been a good piece of fruit. You know, I don't see any more orange or ripe ones. Uh, there's one kind of getting ripe. Hmm. Shake it, maybe one will fall on my head. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. It fell. Sweet victory. Sorry, there are a bunch of people around, so I don't want to be too loud. Sweet victory. Did you guys see that? Yes. We got fruit. We got breakfast, boys. All right, guys. I know this is going to taste so good. <laughs> Oh, it smells juicy, it smells right. Just got a few seeds inside. This is a papaya if you're, if you're uh, new. I gotta go dump these in the bushes real quick. Oh, this is good. Check it out, look who just landed. We have a white egret right over there. Oh, he just, oh, he just ate a gecko. Like, I just full on watched him eat a gecko. You could catch and cook an egret. Mm. I don't think that's probably legal. They're kind of skinny anyway. Well guys, there's the remains, the papaya. I took my teeth and scraped every bit out of there that I could. Well, I'm glad I found that. That gives me actually a little bit of energy this morning. I, I was feeling like, I just feel low energy. That's amazing how when you don't have enough calories, you're just kind of like, bleh. So anyway, but I feel better after eating that. So um, now let's go, let's go fishing. It's starting to rain now. You can see it's, rain is coming. I think I'll have to throw the GoPros in some underwater cases, but uh, we're just gonna do some shore fishing because I can't go out when it's stormy like this and the kayak to get blown all around. So uh, it's looking like it's gonna be a shore fish today. So it's gonna be trying to get, get a whole bunch of small reef fish and uh, get enough for a meal and also we'll gather some more of those things and we'll just look in the tide pools who knows might eat a sea cucumber today i uh, keeping my eye on all these trees and stuff we're just gonna keep looking for food as we go along but look at this beautiful area i'm gonna fish here it's so funny because it rained just a little bit and nobody's out here nobody's on the lawn nobody's on the beach Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see a sign down there that says shark sided stay out. That is why nobody's on the beach. Uh, yesterday or a couple days ago, there was like a 12 foot tiger shark that came in shore and was swimming around. So, uh, yeah.
hey. Whoa, 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 guys, a coconut, a coconut. Oh, guys, such good news. Hopefully this is a good coconut. I guess I shouldn't be too optimistic. And a whole bunch, check this out, we have Look at that. And there's more in there. There's another handful like that. So we're going to use these. I have no bait with me because we're out of octopus. But these make good bait. We'll use these for bait. And then we'll eat whatever we don't uh, don't use for bait. So it's been a good haul right off the bat in the first 10 minutes of being here. The sun is starting to come out. Got to figure out this mess here. All right. So we will select one of these little morsels here. And uh, just going to cut them in half, I think, for that size of hook. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. I'm doing a whole lot of new things lately on my channel. Just trying to level up in real life here. There we go. I got a chunk right there. Really tough. It's kind of like octopus. And so it stays on the hook well. First cast of the day. <laughs> whoa, whoa, guys, look at this. Got a needlefish. A little needlefish. That is weird. You gotta be careful, of these dudes. They got nice little, uh, little teeth there. Look at that guy. I'm surprised he bit on that. Comes out easy enough. Look at that. We'll just uh, drop him in. Let him swim off. Uh oh. Wrong way, buddy. I'm surprised a needlefish would bite on something like that. You know, I just thought of something. I had a local guy tell me one time that those were edible for sushi. I don't know, that was pretty small, but yeah, never mind. I was about to have some regret that I let that go. Mostly because I'm so hungry, but that's so that was too tiny of a fish. There's not going to be much meat. You'd get you need one of those big needle fish, like a two or three footer. Take our coconut right over here, and uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Got a lot of good rocks. We'll set it right in there. Fire starter right there. We got it halfway out. Just gonna set it down here now. The water's coming out. One more should do it. Come on, you guys. Look, it's beautiful. Oh, smells good too. Smells just like a coconut should. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna eat. Oh, look at that chunk right there. Oh, thank you, Lord, for creating coconuts. I love coconut anyway. And then to have it, to, to just find one. You know what? See all the sticks and stuff right there? They're, they're, I'll bet during storms and stuff, this might be kind of one of those corners where a lot of stuff just washes up. We might be able to find more. You know how some coconuts vary in sweetness? And to be perfectly honest, this isn't a super sweet one. But it's good. It's the calories, calories I need. I think while I'm eating, I'm gonna walk around and look for another one. Oh man, big chunks. 
We have 44 hours left in this challenge. I'm still feeling good. I was getting discouraged after. I'm getting so hungry. I was shaking. But remember how thin that one last night was? Look how thick this one is. Oh, that is so good. Between this and the protein of all our little, uh, a whole bunch of those little things, gotta learn the name of them. We're gonna be all right. This will, this will like, this will give me a lot of good energy. We have our little portable setup here. Uh, the, by the way, those little uh, things are called opihi in Hawaiian. I just looked that up. Opihi. All right, guys, we're gonna do some here. We're gonna try cooking these a different way. We're gonna try boiling in them this time and see what that does to them. So wait for that water to heat up. Drop a few in. We'll see how they taste first. That's interesting. It's interesting how they float right out of their shells. Look at the foam after just a minute or two. The foam forming on the water. And it's interesting because the water, this whole dish smells really like seafoody. The way I like them the most, maybe I cooked these a little bit too long. They're really, really chewy. I may have cooked them a little too long. Let's go back to uh, butter. Actually, I have with me today um i actually forgot butter sadly enough but i do have some uh vegetable oil here which we will use all right let's pull some more out of our bag here they're all trying to stick to each other and wait that oil is plenty hot and then we will just drop them whoa look at that Maybe oil wasn't the best idea. You know, maybe all the water is coming out of them. Yeah, that has to be it. All that water is leaking out. I don't know, man. Oh, that looks good. I mean, for a sea snail. get too hot. So flavor is good. Let rubbery again. I overcook it. I keep overcooking these dumb things. Like 30 seconds and they're done. Alright guys, I'm going to leave my cooking stuff out. We're going to try to catch a decent fish to eat here. It really, it's so unfortunate because you see how windy it is. This, it really stinks with these storms because I can't go out in my kayak and catch a big fish. I mean, one five pound papillo and I would be sitting pretty. I mean, you can catch big fish from shore, but this time of year it is very difficult and you have to wait a long time. All right, let's cast this out, deeper water. This looks like a really good spot. Look how beautiful this day is. Every day here in Maui, no matter what the fishing is like, it's just gorgeous. Whoa, look at that big turtle right there. It just popped up. It's not a big turtle, but it's cool. Hawkfish. Cool fish and edible. But uh, with how big their head is, it's just not worth that tiny bit of meat on there. And they're very difficult to clean because of their thick skin. I just need like one good bite from like a trigger fish, a trigger fish or something like that.
was the first decent bite I had, and it totally stole off the uh, worm. Well, guys, no good fish. This this little thing in the oh, whatever I forgot the name already. That little mussel is not a good bait. It, I get a couple of bites on it, but it's just not good. And then, um, yeah, it's just tough. Oh, I think I'm gonna take a nap. I feel really tired and I'm back to that like low energy stage. Good news is I still have half a coconut. And uh, we have this evening, we have tonight, we have all, all the rest of the day to fish. So we're gonna take a break for now and then we'll get back to it in a little bit. Guys, I was walking back home and I see something over here. Look at this. What do we have? Hopefully, it's oh my god. Anything wrong with it? Guys, we just have a perfectly good orange. Are you kidding? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oh, shoot, it has holes and stuff. Dang it. It's like we have a perfectly good orange sitting here, but no, bugs have borne holes into it. And you see, it's black. This is old. Dang it. Hey. I could catch and cook a chicken. Hmm. I wonder if that's legal to catch the cook the wild chickens. Oh, that would be tasty. Some fried chicken. You know what guys? Rethinking that this even though there's some holes in it, this actually might still be there might be some good parts to it. We'll cut it open, let's see. We'll cut bring it over here. Probably not you good to use the same knife for all your tasks, but from there we go folks so there's looks like something drilled down right through the center but other than that it's like a normal orange so you see the black hole there and then the blackness inside if we just cut that away I got part of an orange um, I'm gonna bring this home actually here's what it is i have to sleep tonight and when you're super hungry you can't sleep so that's why i'm saving half the coconut and i'm probably going to save this too because being like honestly when i'm really active i see another orange way up under the tree of it right that might be one i don't know i see part we'll see sorry uh anyway um it's funny how you walk by all this stuff and you never notice it before until you're actually like scavenging. Uh, it's fine being hungry during the day when I'm active. It's laying down and you're still that you really notice it. So that's why I basically I want to save up food for uh, for tonight right before I go to bed if I indeed can't catch any fish this evening. Hopefully I'll catch a big fish and it'll all be over. But um, I'm, I'm going to save this for tonight. <sighs> this is harder than I thought, but... I want to win it. I want to win it. In fact, what hour are we on? Oh, gosh. So we have 41 hours still to go. Well, well guys, what an interesting evening so far. So we just are at the, we're at the 34 hour mark. So we're over halfway done with this challenge. It is almost 11 o'clock at night. Um, I planned on evening fishing. However, the wind is not as bad at the moment. We're kind of shielded by this building over here. But a storm, a major storm kicked up. It started raining, started going. It was it was nasty out here. And it's it's calmed down a little bit. Um, actually, it's not. I see the flag there. The wind has just shifted direction. This building is shielding us. Anyway, storm came, wind came, rain came. It was nasty. And so there was no fishing to be had. The surf is also up. So surf came up to, as well there was i couldn't fish at all but a strange thing has kind of happened this evening let's go inside where there's more light and i have my fruit still fortunately so we have our fruit here but i'm not eating any of it tonight a strange thing has happened i'm going to prepare this orange real quick i'm going to cut out that black stuff anyway a strange thing has happened I was super hungry all afternoon. I mean, stomach growling. But then, it's like my body reached this point where it's almost like my stomach is like, you know, I give up. 
and I'm not hungry anymore. And I haven't been hungry for like probably the last two and a half, three hours. And I had saved this fruit till the very end of the day. We're gonna throw that part away. It looks, that's where the bug went in. Uh, anyway, we have good pieces of oranges here. In fact, just, just smelling the citrus actually is starting to get me kind of hungry again. Anyway, I, I thought, well, since I'm kind of like so hungry, it's almost like my stomach has gone into this like comatose state where I'm not hungry anymore. I'm not going to reactivate it by eating something. And my guess is, there's the other piece, my guess is I'll probably wake up in the middle of the night and be, you know, wake up starving and I'll want this fruit for then. And so I'm going to save all these orange pieces, I'm going to save this, this these coconut pieces um, for the middle of the night basically when I wake up in an angry, hungry rage. This challenge has honestly turned into way more of a challenge than I, than I realized. When I started, I was like, well, this will be fun. For three days, I can basically fish all day and eat my catch all day. And I wasn't planning on the storm coming in. I wasn't planning on the fishing being tough. And uh, this, is, this has been like, I, there was one point today I was tempted to give up. In fact, I keep thinking about peanut butter out of all things, I mean, I'm not even that big of a peanut butter lover, but whenever I think of food, I'm like, oh, peanut butter sounds so good. But I haven't eaten anything. I've stuck to the challenge. I've eaten only what I've been able to catch or gather. Actually, even though it's gotten hard, the farther I get into it, the more determined I am to win. Because it's like, I've, I've come all this, I've, I've come all this way. I'm not going to give up two days in or whatever. So anyway, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, that's all that needs to be said, and I'm going to go to bed before I get hungry. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I did wake up hungry last night, by the way. Um, but I didn't even eat, I didn't eat anything. In fact, I thought, I'm just going to let you know, see if I'll go back to sleep. And within just a few minutes, I fell back asleep. But hunger literally woke me, <laughs> woke me up. So, um... I saw my coconut and my orange. It's really interesting. I woke up this morning and I'm not too hungry this morning. It's again, it's like my stomach is in comatose. In fact, I feel really good right now. There's this point where it's like, I was getting hungry, 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 hungry. And then now it's just like, I could eat something. If somebody set a plate right in front of me, I would devour it. But I'm fine. I'm feeling good right now. A little breezy this morning, but still we can go out and uh, should be able to kayak fish. That is what I was hoping for. So what we're gonna do, the plan for this morning is I'm gonna launch the kayak and go out over the reef and I'm just gonna try to load up on reef fish. I mean, everything that can be kept, I'm gonna be throwing it in a bag. If I could get like five or six reef fish in my fish bag, I would have enough meat to get me through this final day. Let's see if we can do it. Woo, look how windy it is out here, man. It was not like this this morning. What I'm using for bait today, guys, is squid. Frozen squid. It's not as good as octopus, but it'll do. All right, bombs away. Come on, squid. Do something down there. I really, I just need, guys, I just need a couple of fish. I'm keeping everything that's legal today. Is, I'll take anything. Oh, it's a big grass. It's a big grass. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've never been so excited to catch a wrasse before. Woo. I'll take it. Well, I'll take it. Oh, I deserve a drink after that. Wow. There we go, boys. First fish today. I'll take it. Got one. Big one. Big one. Oh. Big one, boys. Big one. Oh, this might be an uku. The way it took a real hard run. Oh. The way it took a real hard run and now it's kind of coming up easily. What do we got? It is. It's an uku. Yes. Get in there.
in the boat. Get in the kayak, yes. Guys, we're gonna make some sushi out of this as soon as we get back. Woo! That is what I'm talking about. A sna gray snapper, if you guys are new to my channel. Oh, this is one of my favorite all-time fish to eat out here. And boy, is this gonna taste amazing. It is amazing how good it feels to catch a fish when the stakes are this high. Come on. So the wind was getting stronger and stronger and was actually blowing me almost directly out into the open ocean. So I decided to call it early. Plus I had some fish that I was really eager to get back and eat. I cannot tell you how good this is gonna be. Guys, we have about 20 hours left and we have these two fish plus part of a coconut and orange. I think we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna make sushi out of the gray snapper. So right now I'm gonna clean this guy first. All right, my friends, for the gray snapper, I only want the choicest cuts for the sushi and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna save I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna eat some sushi for now and then this evening I'll save the rest of it and we'll grill up the rest of this snapper for right now look at that little piece right there and then we're just gonna take the skin off Nice bite-sized chunks. It's gonna be good. Same thing to this side. Oh, look at that beautiful filet right there, guys. Oh. I'm getting hungry. All that physical activity made me really hungry. All right, guys, so we are finished preparing the fish. We have the rest of the uku here that we will uh, save for later, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Depends on how, how hungry I am. These are the cubed, nice cubes that we will use for the uh, the poke. And then this right here is the poke mixture I threw together real fast. It is red pepper, some soy sauce, some sesame oil, and some green pepper in there. Or green onion, I mean. And we are just gonna take these chunks and toss them right in the mixture. Oops, I forgot a fork for this. We'll just have to use a knife. Now we'll stir that around. We're just going to eat with this knife here. Stir that around real good. You know, we have a lot of sauce. I might be uh, cutting the rest of that, that snapper there. Mm. We are going to say a quick prayer. Speaking of prayer, I see why people fast now. Look at that. Mm. Oh, it's good. My mouth, my mouth like released a bunch of water. Because I've not eaten anything. Whoa. I've not eaten anything for like over 20 hours. And even when I did eat something, it was just those, it was just a bit of coconut. Some of those little opihi. Oh, this is so tasty. Speaking of fasting, you always wondered like how in scripture like people would fast for three days or whatever and pray. And I personally have never done that actually. Fasted to pray. But you get this clarity of mind when you don't eat for a long time or you eat very little. And it also get really like serious. So like, I didn't feel like in the joking mood all day yesterday. I, I just felt, I'm not like stern, not like, oh, I was sad. It was just like, I felt really serious about life. And I felt like I could focus on things really well. And so people who, have you know, like fasted, like if you had a big problem or you, you know, you're just going through something really stressful, so they would fast and pray. It would give you like really this mental clarity and, um, and kind of just a, a seriousness about your life kind of a thing. So I, for the first time, I actually understand really why 
people do that. All right, so I may or may not have stolen a few more pieces off that uku that I was supposed to save for later. But I have all this sauce in here, and uh, this just tastes so good. Now, we will end with a little dessert. A little fresh coconut. Man, it is a gorgeous day out here. See, my mood has already improved. <laughs> this coconut. One thing I love about it is it's so fibrous that really fills me up. It, I, and compared to other foods, like, I feel like an apple, after eating an apple, apple doesn't, isn't really filling, but just thick, fibrous coconut makes me feel full. Ah, lunch was amazing. And look at this gorgeous day out here. The storm has passed. The wind is calming down. I had planned on spearfishing this afternoon, uh, but as you can see, the water is kind of, you see how it's like all stirred up right there. Um, but the good news is since the wind is dying down, uh, the waves will probably die down later as well. And then it might get clear. So maybe we'll do like an evening snorkel, evening spearfish. Uh, well guys, the conditions have not cleared up uh, this evening, afternoon. In fact, the waves have gotten bigger and it's gotten cloudier out there. So there's not gonna be any spearfishing. Fishing is a little tough because of the wind, but, but, check out that view. I mean, nothing to complain about that sunset. Man. Gorgeous, gorgeous evening out here. I'm glad this is the last night, though. This, is, this challenge has been fun, it's been challenging, but I'm glad this is the last day. I do have my fish, and so we're gonna, um, I'm probably gonna grill. Yeah, I'm gonna grill the wrasse and um, watch the sunset and uh, maybe, maybe even toast some coconut. plate of food, we got oranges, we got coconut, and we got a fish. You know, it's funny, a few days ago, if somebody offered me a plate with a few pieces of coconut on it, a few orange slices, and a, and a ringtail wrasse, I would have been like, what? Sounds like an awful dinner, but when you're really hungry, it sounds amazing. We're not wasting a single bite. probably skip the only thing we won't eat are the bones and the eyeball it's really not a flavor some fish at all but it'll do it's a good night I'm saving the snapper in case I get hungry either in the middle of the night or tomorrow morning Well, my friends, I did wake up hungry last night, but I was so tired that I just fell back to sleep again. But overall, I think we're going to make it to the finish line. Ah, just what the doctor ordered. When I want a healthy, nutritious breakfast, this is what I think of. Victory. Woo. Three days, guys. Three days. It was fun, but I'm never doing it again. 
so don't even ask. Unless, of course, this video gets millions of views, then I probably will be doing it again. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out Ace Videos Seasoning in the description below. Signing off for now. See you guys in the next one.